Hey, what's up, guys? This is Eddie Gray. Have you ever opened up a session only to find that it keeps crashing for whatever reason? Well, I got some tips and tricks for you right now that are going to help you out with that. Let's get right into it. So here's the situation. You've tried opening up the session. Problem report for Logic Pro. So here are a couple of ideas that could potentially work. So if you go into the session itself, you press spacebar, go into the quick view, and if you loaded project alternatives, here's where you can find them. So maybe the main session doesn't work, but perhaps the project alternatives will. And then of course, if you go into load backup, and we click on that, Logic automatically saves your sessions, and every single time you hit Command S, you're saving sessions. So this right here could be a lifesaver. So that's one idea, but here's the one that I really want to show you that I'm excited about. Okay, so notice where it says here, problem report. It says, Logic Pro quit unexpectedly while using the tonal balance control plug. So I'm going to get out of here, and then what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to open up Logic, but I'm not going to open up that specific session. I'm just going to open up a new session. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because I'm going to disable the core audio driver. It's essentially the driver that allows Logic to work. So we open up a new empty project. And by the way, if you're not getting that screen upon opening up Logic, you can get it by opening up your preferences, going into the general icon right here, and then under startup action, tell Logic to ask you what it is you want to do. So that being said, what we're going to do next is go into the audio icon and disable the core audio driver. And the reason we're doing this is so that when we go into the original session that you were trying to get into, none of the plugins are going to load. It's just going to be an empty session, but at least you can access the project and then remove the plugin that's causing the problem. In my case, the tonal balance plugin was the one that was causing the issues. So now I'm going to go ahead, tick the box, apply changes, and maybe this will solve it. Let's see. All right. So that solved the problem right there. Now we're back in our session and we're good to go. Hope that helps. If you like the content that I'm making, go ahead and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, keep your frequency high.